I'm Duncan Mainland, and this is Snowboard Addiction. Today we're going to work on Euro Carves. Euro Carves are a really fun maneuver to do on the hill, and they're guaranteed to up your sex appeal by at least 10%. No matter where you go, if you do a Euro Carve, people are going to stop and have a look at what you're up to. Ideally, the terrain you're looking for to Euro Carve is smooth, evenly groomed terrain. It's really hard to do it in powder or anywhere that it's lumpy, bumpy, or full of little rocks. A Euro carve is essentially a toe side carve turn where your chest is as low to the ground as you can get it. So before you start Euro carving, you should have a pretty firm grasp on how to carve on your heel side and your toe side. To start working your way towards a Euro carve, start just getting as low as you can on your normal everyday carve turn. By getting lower and lower, it's gonna get you in the position you need to really lock into that Euro carve. As you get lower and lower, start putting your back hand out and touching the ground. It's also a good idea to start pushing your knees forward and seeing how close you can get your knees to the ground. As you start feeling comfortable with this lower carve style, see if you can grab onto your heel edge with your front hand. By grabbing onto your heel edge with your front hand, it puts you right in that position you need to jump into the Euro carve. When you're ready to really lock into that Euro carve, you're actually going to be throwing your body weight down the hill. It's important when you do the Euro carve that you get on your edge as early as you can. If you wait until your board's pointing straight down the hill, you're going to have a ton of speed and momentum and it's going to be very hard to deal with it. So try and do it right from the traverse. Get a nice fast traverse on your heel edge and then dump your weight all over down the hill onto your toe edge. If you do this right and you have a little bit more weight on your back foot than you normally would, your board should catch and bring you all the way around the turn. If you're standing really tall, you're gonna flop yourself right onto the snow. You wanna get nice and low, so as you flop over, it's not such a long way to fall. As you dump your weight over, this is your time to extend your legs and push your arms out in front of you. If you do this right and have a little bit of weight on your back foot, your board should hook up and pull you all the way around the turn. One little insider tip I use is I make sure I grab my jacket like this when I'm doing a Euro carve because I'm going to have a ton of weight on my arm and not just on my snowboard. When I have this arm dragging in the snow, my sleeve's just going to fill completely full of snow unless I clamp it off. Once you start losing speed, it's time to stand back up again. You're going to simultaneously push up on your arm and suck your legs underneath you. That push up from your arm should be enough to get you back up on your feet and it's important to ride away not looking like it was a big deal. Learning how to Euro carve, you're going to get covered in snow from head to toe, but that's part of the enjoyment. And once you get really good at them, you're going to love doing them all over the place and all your friends are going to love watching them. Enjoy your Euro carves. I'm Duncan Mainland. This is Snowboard Addiction, and our goal is to improve your riding.